I went into this album. I was, I'm going to be honest, I was late listening to this album. Actually, my first time listening to this fully through was like last week when we decided this is what we were going to do. Uh, long time fan of Maroon 5, full disclosure. Uh, I think that they're a band that, while they've made a career out of chasing the trends in pop music, uh, up until the mid to late 2000, uh, 2010s, they did a very good job of it. Their early albums are all great, uh, overexposed in you know the early 2010s being my favorite album of theirs and one of the few pop albums that I would consider a near perfect pop album. Um, and then the album V or five, whatever you want to call it happened. That was like half good. Red Pill Blues, I hated. I, I don't know what happened to that. So really when the band started to be less of a band and more of Adam Levine doing whatever he wants to do with some features. And I had hope for this album when it was first announced and it did not live up to it. It did not live up to any hope I had for it at all outside of really two songs are the only ones I'm going to go back to frequently. And they were two songs that I had already known that I liked before listening to the whole album. I have a lot of issues with the album, which we'll get into over the course of this. But initial impressions is um, really, really did not hold up to what I think that their name and previous work, you know, going back at least five years ago, holds them to. It comes off as very much identity crisis of well, this is what's popular and on the radio now. It's not really our style, but let's try to emulate it anyway and maybe get a bunch of features on there, relevant people. And boy, did it not work. Mike, is there any uh, saving grace right now? Uh, depressed sigh. Uh, uh, I'm the old grandpa villain on uh, on this on this channel on this uh, feature you know it's just that's my role and uh, of course i'm an old 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 you know listener of maroon 5 like probably the first stuff that ever came out everything in the middle is what i hear while i'm in the grocery store buying some milk and bread during a blizzard probably in new york so you know that's probably about as as much as my knowledge of middle maroon five uh kind of like can can lend to the critique of how they evolve from like i think kyle said it perfect chasing trends um you know it's kind of just a you know they're just morphing into uh kind of almost just like a, a sampling of kind of the sounds of of like pop you know radio right now and it's not even like there's many shades of pop this is kind of all in the realm of kind of like beats and like no guitar just kind of like uh, just so flat so lifeless uh just almost painfully uh um creatively dry kind of um showing with the opportunity to to, to feature a bunch of people to to kind of like it's almost like you know what? I almost like picture like Adam Levine sitting around like a table with everyone like like wishing him happy birthday and like they're like you're not old like you can you can sound like a 16 year old kid on this song and like nobody will question it because you take off your shirt during, at the Super Bowl but anyway like you know it's just like he's it's just a desperate clawing to be relevant in a in today's radio and uh with it with regards to like maybe a song or two like that i weren't horrible it was not much to find on this album that had any kind of like real i don't know just substance to it you know what i mean and just overall like yeah it, it was definitely a painful uh, record to make it through almost forgettable mm -hmm. um parts where it just like four songs went by and i'm like they sounded like one continuous song and had, you know, yeah. So it was just like, it definitely was very, very uh, kind of just sad, <laughs> sad. I wanted Jordy from Star Trek. 
to like beam me away <laughs> from the album and take me far away somewhere where like intelligent life exists you know? oh, yeah. but hey you know that's hey that's just an opinion folks uh, don't don't at me all right Oh my god, that Star Trek reference just made my night. <laughs> Absolutely. Jordy, yes. please save me. Save. Save me. <laughs> um I I will I will bravely admit when this album first came out last year in 2021, I was first up, I was like, oh cool, Numerot, Numeron Five album. I, I heard memories, I heard I heard memories, and I was thoroughly depressed by the first the lead single like that came out in 2019 which was weird it was weird the first thing was 2019 and the next one was 20 fall of 2020 then the biggest single which was beautiful mistakes which you know i'll get to in a sec too but like outside of those three singles and then the album came out i was like all right memories was boring it it had like you know sure it had it had some meaning for people i just found it very boring and depressing nobody's love came out and i was like what is going on with maroon five is adam levine okay like what's going on i was petrified this beautiful mistakes comes out and i was like all right this is just a very weird i, I hopefully the album comes out great what i hope we're hoping for like that v that overexposed v kind of vibe kind of thing and oh my god when i listened to this album start to finish i almost couldn't believe my ears like i felt like i lost my virginity with my ears in a really bad way possible with like something that was just awful. And it made me so depressed afterwards. And I was, I, I, I've never, this is the first time I got angry at a record. I was like, I was in shock. I was like, what is going on? The first track, we'll get to all the tracks in a sec, but like post, like the first track, I was like, I, I literally was jaw dropped open. My jaw was open. And I said, what the hell was that? I was in, sev- I, 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 and then I, I, and then thank God, I finally, ca- thank God I convinced Kyle and Mike to do this stream tonight because I wanted them to hear how bad this album was. <laughs> so bad. I was, I've, like, as a Maroon 5 fan uh, who likes them enough to call themselves a fan, this was one of the most questionable, outrageous, like just, a lot of weird features. Stevie Nicks is in there for some reason and Black Bear. And like, it's just, it's like a midlife crisis times five on Viagra. I mean, forget it. It's terrible. I can't believe what I heard. Hopefully you and didn't I- buy it. Hopefully no, 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 no. I said, thank God I didn't buy it, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, that, that would enrage me. Like, man, like. Uh, they, uh, Mike, are you kidding me? I, I bought the <laughs> vinyl pressing. I bought the limited edition vinyl pressing of Jordy. Oh, the ones that come out with little stick on tattoos that you can like emulate, like Adam Levine, like you can like dress up in the mirror and like while you're singing them. Oh, I got the same one. Uh, I got those beautiful mistakes coming on right now. I got those stickers, (laughs) man. You know, it's like, like, what (laughs) is going on? And then the, the, the remix with like in the end with memories, I just, we're going to end the track listing in a second, but a lot overall, just a lot of questionable choices. It sounds like beautiful mistakes. You mean? <laughs> that was good. It was Horrid such a mistakes. Be- it was <laughs> such a be- did, I, did I say beautiful mistakes? I meant terrible mistakes. Terrible What's going mistakes. On? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like go. It's like terrible. It's just, oh my.